This is going to be a quick and simple video on installing ZSwitcher for ZBrush. So once you've downloaded the ZSwitcher.exe uh, setup program, you can double click it and it'll bring up uh, the wizard and you can just click next here. And once you've read through the end user license agreement, you can click accept, click next. This window just warns you about uh, using pirated software. You can click next after you've read that. And now you've got to the portion that will actually let you install ZSwitcher, which uh, here will let you get an option to install it for 4, 3.5, or uh, 3.5 and 4. So if you have multiple installations of ZBrush on your machine, you can actually install ZSwitcher for uh, one or more of them. So here I'll just click this to add to both of them and then click next. Uh, my Z, uh, brush for ZBrush 4 is actually installed in a non-default path. So the default path would normally be C, Program Files, x86, Pixel Logic, ZBrush 4. But I actually have mine installed on a G drive. It's a faster drive for me. So I can just copy that path here and just click Paste uh, by pressing Control B. Uh, alternatively, you can actually click the Browse button and actually browse to that path as well. But this was a little bit easier since I had the window already open. And then I'll just click Next. The uh, 3.5 installation of ZBrush is actually installed on my default path, which is the C program files x86 pixel logic ZBrush 3.5 R3. So that it automatically found. If for some reason you browse to a path and it's to the wrong path or the incorrect path, it'll actually warn you. So for example, if I, you know, take this off or, or you know, add something like this to this and click next, it'll, it'll tell you, hey, we didn't find anything there. It actually knows uh, if it's a 3.5 or not. So for example, if I go back to this path and copy that and then try pasting that even into a, into a legible or a, you know, legitimate ZBrush path, it'll even say, Hey, there's no 3.5 there. So it actually recognizes whether it needs a 3.5 or not based on, uh, the, uh, label of the EXE. So I can just delete that and I'll just copy the path to the 3.5 again. But normally this would, you might not even have to deal with this at all if you actually install ZBrush in the default path. But if you do have a separate path or a network path, you can actually browse to that from here. So here, I'll just click next. And the next option will give you an overview of what it's about to do. And I'll click install. And it takes just a second. And then once you're done, you can click finish. Uh, I'll uncheck this because I don't need to read the help file. But if you want to have that pop up after installing, you can do that. And you're done. Uh, so if you go to your... Uh, Pixelogic ZBrush folder yeah, within your Z startup folder and then Z plugs folder. Uh, Z switcher is pretty much just composed of two files, really this text file, uh, which composes all the uh, UI features within Z switcher. And this is the binary format of that. So it's pretty much the same thing. And then within the folder here itself, you have pretty much the Z switcher plugin file. Uh, this is just some necessary files uh, when you're uh, building windows programs, but uh, this one itself is the actual plugin. And that's pretty much it. If for some reason you need to uninstall ZSwitcher, you can just grab these two folders and delete it. Or you can go to the, uh, let's see, the control panel, um, add remove features or programs and features, and just scroll down to the bottom here. And you can see that you have ZSwitcher uh, right down here. So you can just click uninstall and it will remove everything that it had just installed, which is now empty. That's pretty much it. Uh, again, before I didn't show this, but once you've installed ZSwitcher and you launch ZBrush, everything should just start working for you automatically. Uh, the subsequent video of the overview, which you can see right here uh, coming up, will actually show you all the main features within ZSwitcher as well. Thanks. Bye.